this may have been covered in the presentation, but why did you choose to become an author? Uh, sometimes I feel like I didn't choose to become an author, but it chose me. Uh, I, I always enjoyed writing and telling stories, and uh, it just sort of just naturally outflowed from who I am. Uh, and I consider myself very lucky to be able to uh, do for a living what I would do anyway if I wasn't uh, being paid to do it. All right. And, um, okay, so do you prefer writing for, uh, you know, books or short stories or uh, television, you know, a visual aspect, that sort of thing? You know, there's something to be said for writing film and TV and for writing books. I enjoy doing both. I tend to put my heart and soul more into the writing uh, of the books because uh, a movie script or a TV episode is just a blueprint for the thing that they're going to film, and many times it doesn't get made. But when I write a book, I know that that book is going to be out there and that it's going to be reaching an audience, and so I really do put a little bit more of myself into the books. Okay. And... Um who is your favorite author besides yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Who is my favorite author besides myself? It's, uh, it's always a tough question to answer because I have a lot of different favorite books and no specific favorite authors. Uh, I could tell you some of the books and book series that I've really loved, everything from uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy to uh, Roald Dahl when I was growing up, uh, Stephen King when I was in high school, John Irving as an adult. And you can see they, they span a lot of different genres. Tolkien, when I was in middle school, I read Lord of the Rings and loved it. So there are just lots of different genres, lots of different uh, books that I like, and I really can't pick a single favorite author. Okay, uh, thank you. And <clears throat> in terms of your visit today, um, do you go to schools often? And if so, what has your experience been in that sort of realm? Uh, I speak at a lot of different schools. I travel to, I would say, almost 100 schools a year around the whole country, also internationally. And uh, the one thing that I find is, as different as different places are, kids are the same everywhere. And it's an important part of being an author, uh, I find, to connect with the, the readers, both the, both the teachers that are bringing the books to the students and to the kids themselves, and uh, to, to really uh, be you know, on a level with them so that I know what they like and what's working and what's not. And also it inspires me. You know, talking to students just makes me want to go and write more for them.